My name is Swain Chen. I'm an associate professor of medicine, and I'd like to welcome you to NGS eOpen Day. First off, congratulations. I'm a firm believer in education, and the world definitely needs more people that are educated, especially in science. To consider graduate studies means that you've done a lot of school already and are looking to do more. The fact that you've done well in school for many years actually leads to one of the more important pieces of advice that I'd like to give you from my own experience. Graduate school is a very different kind of school. You will have to switch from a curriculum-based mode where there are defined facts and concepts to learn to a self-driven mode where you have to set the problems, you have to find the answers, you have to organize the concepts, and importantly, you have to decide whether you got the right answer. In graduate school, you will now be part of the industry that generates new knowledge and understanding. Because we're studying new and unknown problems, we do have to be very specialized. Humanity has learned an immense amount about many areas of science. We need to know the details of past work in order to drive towards a deeper understanding of life and our world. We're looking not just to observe and catalog, but also to synthesize and integrate so that we can pass this knowledge on. These higher level skills are among the most sophisticated that you will have to learn, and there's no lesson plan for doing this. You will have to learn these skills by practicing them yourself. You may have heard from current graduate students that they study something so narrow that no one seems to care, or that their parents and friends don't understand what they do. This is certainly one perspective, and is actually a good indication that they've started that process of specialization. But I'd like you to keep in mind that while learning new knowledge does require this kind of specialization, it's only one part of your PhD. The other part is the more intellectual and conceptual part, and that ability to think, to break down a problem, devise an organized approach to solving it, that's the most general thing you can learn. Everyone needs that skill, and the ones who do it best succeed not only in science, but in whatever career they decide to pursue in the future. So yes, from one perspective, a PhD student is hyper-specialized. But from another perspective, a PhD student has the opportunity to develop the only real skills that every employer actually needs. True thinking and intellectual flexibility and the ability to solve any problem, no matter how complex. These skills are very general. There are other life skills that you will develop connected to the change from a curriculum-based study to self-driven mode in PhD studies. You will need to manage your own time. You will have to choose between several approaches that you can take to solve a problem. You'll have to prioritize these. Because we don't know the answers, we sometimes make the wrong hypothesis at the beginning, and you'll have to learn to recognize when your concepts and ideas don't match reality and make the adjustments. This takes objectivity and humility. Your advisor, of course, will be there to help you and guide you, but graduate school really is a different type of school, and you will have to be responsible for your own development of these skills as well. Actually, this makes sense, though, because you will be the one developing as a person and improving not just your future career, but also the world in the process. And this is the other reason that graduate school is very practical and very general. Related to the future, I do recognize that many students enter a PhD program for better job prospects or potentially a higher salary afterwards. But from what I've said so far, I think it's clear that I think a well-trained PhD graduate is exactly the kind of employee any good employer would want. But I don't think you should think of this as a time that will increase your attractiveness to future employers. Instead, this should be a time where you transform your own thinking you transform yourself. PhD studies are for you, and if you focus on this personal development, if you invest in yourself and in your own intellectual development, this is worth more than anything any employer can offer you. If you then in the future decide that you want to apply your powers in the service of some other employer, that's fine, but that will be your choice. You will have the true freedom of knowing that you're in control of your career and you can set your own priorities and pursue them. This, again, is the self-directed mode that you're about to enter in graduate school, and the real reward is that you may be able to spend the rest of your career, the rest of your life, in this self-directed mode, further developing yourself and improving the world around us all in the process. So once again, congratulations on how well you've done in the past. 
Doing a PhD is a new and different but exciting time. You will grow intellectually and in maturity during these years. So pick an advisor who's going to help invest in the real development, the general improvement that comes from increasing your ability to think. Of course, be sure to take care of yourself and take responsibility for your own training, your time management, and your process of work and prioritizing what work to do. Overall, also be sure to have fun and thank you for helping to improve the world. And enjoy the rest of NGS eOpen Day.